See, what we're going to be making is a stacked vanilla butter, no, buttercream? What's that stuff? Butter icing. Icing. Butter. It's buttercream. Baking is my passion. <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So we are starting off another vlog. It's currently Friday and I am rushing because I'm just about to start my Mariah-thon. So basically on Twitch we hit 3,000... My BCAAs always with me. Basically on Twitch we hit 3,000 followers. So to celebrate we're doing a Mariah-thon which is a marathon, you know, play on words. So I just did a few pictures for my Instagram in my new Mean Girls top which I am obsessed with and then I'm gonna go now and start my Mariah-thon which could be three hours, six hours, who knows how long and then I have a little bit of editing to do. Hopefully I'll be able to do that tonight. Basically I just wanted to quickly start the vlog today and just catch up with you guys even though it's a super busy day so I won't be vlogging too much but I am gonna vlog this weekend and I'm hoping to show you guys some of my home workout stuff that I've been doing which I think will be really fun and also so I do, it's Danny's birthday. I was gonna order him a cake, but I'm kind of tempted to try and make one. So I'm feeling like I might try to make one this weekend. Maybe we'll do like a test run this weekend and see if I can make a cake. I don't know, because I wouldn't make one of those like tall, like stacked cakes. He says he likes carrot cake. What do you do? So that's what I'm probably gonna do. But I wanted to do it where, you know, the cakes are like stacked and then they pile on all like the biscuits and chocolate bars on top. But what am I gonna put on top like a carrot? I don't really know. The baking, I don't know how it's gonna go. It could go really well. It, it could go badly. I don't know. The fact that I'm trying to make a stacked cake instead of just, you know, going for a basic cake or perhaps a cupcake or something simplistic. I'm like, nah, like, get me in at the deep end. I will catch you guys up tomorrow. We'll probably do some home workout stuff and then maybe getting to the baking tomorrow. I don't really know. If you're not, please do subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, stay tuned for me setting my kitchen on fire, I think. <laughs> what is up, guys? Okay, so it is Saturday and I didn't vlog this morning. And I have a very good reason for that. I did my Mariah's launch stream yesterday and it went on for 11 hours. 11 hours, I didn't expect that. It was amazing, but I just, I didn't expect that. So I just went for a run this morning. I didn't vlog anything because I just didn't have time. I'm so rushed today, but I did want to check in with you guys. I will try to get more content tomorrow. Like I wanted to do baking for you guys and I want to film some home workout stuff. So I will get that all into this vlog. I did stream until 5 a.m. So I didn't really expect to get that many subscriptions. So I didn't realize I would be going on for that long, but it was amazing. And I'm so grateful and it was so, so fun. So basically today I have just done some Instagram pictures, which I'll show you guys my outfit in a minute. So my Instagram pictures, I've done two YouTube videos and I do want to film a TikTok too, just before I go live on Twitch. But I'm doing like, it's it's 7 30 and all i need to do is a tiktok so i've done pretty well for time i think so yeah i uh i didn't get to film some of the baking stuff like i wanted but i have a really good reason for that stream was absolutely incredible so we'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and we will hopefully do some baking i need to order in like a cake stand and i think you need these little cardboard things to build the cake and it's a lot to it it's a lot do but yeah i just want to touch in with you guys show you guys my outfit too which is so cute today in clueless vibes from it which i absolutely love but yeah i have had a pretty productive day considering i'm not on much sleep and i lost a lot of my morning um, so i feel like i've had a pretty productive day all things considered but i'm gonna go film a tiktok so do follow me on tiktok it's mariah may x i go through phases with tiktok i'm like i'm not a dancer i'm not a comedian and i can't just film myself saying things but you know, I'm gonna try with it. A lot of people are like, go back on TikTok. I wanna see TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> I will try to do TikTok more. So I'm gonna try and film something now. So do follow me on there. But yeah, I will touch with you guys tomorrow and hopefully have more to do. But uh, I just today, I've just had to change the game, had to change the schedule because what is up everyone it is now sunday it's currently actually sunday evening it's like it's like almost 8 p.m 
I have had the craziest day. So I didn't sleep until like 7 a.m. last night. I finished streaming at like 2 a.m. And I just had to do a few things and then I just couldn't sleep at all. Lockdown has really made sleeping so difficult for me. I just think I'm not active enough. I'm used to resting, I'm used to training so much and always being out. And even though I'm walking, I'm running, I'm still working out really hard. I just think I'm just not commuting enough. I'm not out enough. I'm just not active as much as I was before. And my body is really just not adapting to it because I've had such difficult, oh my God, what is that? There was literally a red spider. Oh my fucking God. <gasps> God, it just as I think, like my day can't get more stressful. <gasps> okay, so obviously this weekend has not gone to plan at all. So I really wanted to do some baking for you guys. I really wanted to film some home workout stuff for you guys. And I have not been able to do either of those things. And I'm swinging this camera around like no one's business. I actually don't know why I'm doing that. It hasn't gone to plan. But I have still just adapted and I've got work done. So I am really happy about the productivity of the weekend. It just didn't exactly go to plan for my vlog, which is like a little bit annoying, but it's fine because I'm just gonna roll this vlog over into the week. I do need to make Danny a birthday cake or birthday cupcakes. I'm not actually sure which one I'm gonna do. I wanna do like the stacked cake, but you have to order quite a lot of stuff in for it. And if it flops, it's just gonna be like, whoops. I need to order something to make the stacked cake because you need to get these like cardboard slides and like a stand and Amazon has some packs which are really cool so it just all comes together which makes it pretty straightforward so I'm going to check them out and hopefully we'll be doing that well we'll definitely be doing something this week in the kitchen can't promise it will be <laughs> any good but I'm excited to try I'm excited for the challenge and it is his birthday so I'm going to make him a cake um, so we will be doing that in this vlog today was just a super stressful day I am about to stream now which I'm really looking forward to because I love streaming. I really do love it. I feel like I need to start streaming earlier because I end up streaming for like five hours and I start at like eight or nine and it's like, maybe if I started earlier, <laughs> but I've got a lot of American followers. So I like to try and make it fair for everyone. I actually finally did a TikTok, which is, you know, <laughs> the big comeback. I finally made a TikTok. I finally, I did some Instagram pictures. It's been hard in lockdown. I've struggled a bit to get like different content for people because people love my wrestling content, which I have bits and pieces, but like I'm running out of stuff now. And then also like just in terms of pictures, it's just the same like four walls and I, someone put like a really long comment on my thing like, can you take pictures somewhere else? Like I'm fed up of seeing the same background, the same door. And I was like, it's a national lockdown. Why do you want me to take a picture? But I'm trying to find different spaces to take the pictures in to mix it up for Instagram. But um, yeah, I'm kind of getting on top of my socials, which I'm very happy about. It's been a hell of a weekend. I did just want to check in and log something for today for the vlog because I'm trying to vlog almost every day. So I did want to log something in for today, but we will be doing the birthday cake. And this is the big deal of the vlog is this birthday cake. I can't promise it will be good, but it will be fun. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to log this off here because I do have to stream and then I've got a bit of work to do later. Why am I... Why is it zooming in? What's happening? Why am I... Why, why am I Casper the ghost? What? Why is it doing this? Okay, I just filmed a TikTok in this lighting and it was so cute. And now I'm filming a video and I look like a ghost, but whatever, we move. So today I am going to be baking the birthday cake. This is a back arm. I did order a cake. His favorite cake is carrot cake, so I ordered one from Lola's. Because I was just nervous, okay? I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, but excited. So we are going to go and make a cake. It's a stacked vanilla cake. Apparently this one's good for beginners. So I'm just going to go with that. And then I'm just going to put buttercream on it. I wanted to do chocolate and stack it all up, but I feel like it would be weird to put chocolate on it and if it's not that chocolate flavour. The cake is just vanilla. It's like false advertising. They're going to be like, ooh, Milky Way, and then they eat it and it's just basic as fuck. So I'm going to go ahead and start baking. Okay guys, so I am now making the cake. I've already had to call my mum and all I had to do was get out the baking tray and I've already had to call my mum. So it's starting off as well as you guys can imagine. So basically what we're gonna be making is a stacked vanilla butter, no. Buttercream? What's that stuff? Butter icing. Icing. Butter. It's buttercream. 
so much doubt. So we're gonna be making van a stacked vanilla buttercream cake because hey, it's my first time and I thought, let me just start with the most ambitious thing ever. So what we have to do first is I've put the oven on. I only have one cake tin, so you're meant to cook two, but I've only got one, so I'm just gonna do it one by one, which is no problem at all. We're just basically gonna get started with making the cake batter, I think. And then whilst that's cooking, I believe you make the buttercream or whatever it's called. So yeah, I've got all my ingredients out. I don't have anything at room temperature because I didn't remember to do it I was busy filming TikToks just didn't do it so um yeah I'm gonna tie my hair up because we just we don't need we don't need a vanilla cake with like blonde hair in it we just that's not what we're looking for so that's so the first thing let's preheat the oven which I've done grease and flour to cake rounds okay I need parchment what the fuck that's as much parchment as you have um can you reuse it for parchment? What you use it for? Just for the two cake. Also, I've got I've got Danny here because I just feel like I need supervision. I you know I just can't be trusted to do it on my own. I need to put some cardboard in the oven. So, that? so I've got to put butter in this to grease it. That's what the instructions say. That's what the instructions say. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. What's it like dating a domestic goddess? I'm good at cleaning. I have some qualities. All right. To be fair, I feel like this is a grease-proof cake tin, but just in case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some some butter in. Just we gotta be we gotta be secure on all sides here because it's gonna be a fucking disaster. Like I'm just gonna be honest. It's probably not gonna go so well. All right. So I have. Greased it, Marshall's come in like, what is going on? I've greased it, I've got my parchment paper, whatever you wanna call it in. What have we got next? Okay, in a medium bowl, whisk flour, baking powder, and salt. How much? How, how you know, any chance of the measurement? I don't even have like a, like a cup. Baking is my passion. <laughs> In a medium bowl, whisk your flour, your baking powder, salt. Why the fuck are we having salt in a cake? I'm really stressed. I'm, we haven't even... It's too late now to go back. I, just, I bought a fucking cake stand for this shit. So it's basically got a list for the cake and then the buttercream. So I'm just going to assume when they say to put the salt and the flour in, it's all of it. I don't know. That's what they're saying. So we're just going to literally follow this. We can't go wrong. How hard can it be? Do you just... Do you dig this in? One, two, two and a quarter. This is amazing. What what a tool that we, we've been blessed with today. Yes, Marsha? TSP, this teaspoon. It's a little one, right? Two, okay. I mean, I've got more on the table right now than I have in the bowl. Three quarters of a tablespoon? How the, how the hell do I measure that? Am I meant to have like pure salt or something? Because I don't. I'm definitely put the wrong kind of salt in, haven't I? <laughs> also, you're meant to have like a proper machine kind of thing to make the buttercream and I don't. So we're just going to be doing this with just pure strength. Cream the butter and sugar on medium high until pale and fluffy, about three minutes. So that's three minute arm workout for us today, guys. Oh my God, this is so stressed. Just cream the butter and sugar, that's it. Just put the butter and sugar in. A, a, a three quarters of a cup of unsalted butter. No drama at all, mate. It, it's not, it's, it's actually not soft and my microwave is out of action, but I'm just gonna have to be cheeky and use it because we had this situation with the brownies and it was a freaking disaster. They turned out like cakes because I over mixed them because the butter just would not mix. You know, when everyone over lockdown took up Bacon, I was making TikToks. I'm gonna pop this in the microwave. You're not really meant to use the microwave, but I've got no choice because this is unusable. Apparently it's one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Are you sure? What? Is this, are we, really? She's not right. Don't touch it, no, you're not allowed to help with the cake. And don't mind me, Danny. I'm just out here trying to make content, but you, you do you, boo. Cream the butter and sugar. Okay, well, I don't know what that means. 
No one knows what it means. My mom's not even here, you know? I should have waited for my mom to come home because she's like, she'll step in. This is meant to be done with a machine. I can't wait to have absolutely hench arms when I get back to wrestling. It's just from baking. I have made such a mess. I don't know how. There's a smaller one that's a smaller whisk that's a bit. Cake. I don't, you guys probably can't even see, which I'm mad about. There's cake flying everywhere. I, I, <laughs> I've done good wrong. These unbox that Amazon for me. I'd like to show everyone how little faith I have in my baking. Essentially, with this, you hand make the buttercream, you make it yourself, but I just wasn't hopeful, so I ordered six buttercreams. I ordered candles and they're so tall, but I actually really like the colour. I'm actually doing a really, no, that looks terrible. What a terrible angle. I'm actually doing a really good job. <laughs> yeah, I, I got a little bit nervous. So I've ordered a shelf of buttercream just in case it goes wrong. Well, let me wash my hands. The dogs are literally right here, just in case they've, they've noticed the cake flying. Three minutes in a machine. So one minute for me, cause you know, fucking hench. It worked better with a smaller whisk. So if you are gonna do this um, and you don't have the machine, I really recommend doing it with a small whisk um, and a slightly bigger bowl. This bowl, it works, but if you're like me and you're new to it, um, I just don't think it gives you a lot of room. So I think we've... My dogs are judging me so harshly. Reduce speed and add, add eggs one by one. How many eggs are we doing today? Three large eggs. Ew. I would like to do the bit in the shops where like, you know, cake boss and stuff where they just decorate it. That's for me. That's my passion. Ooh, actually, you know what? Ignore that. I'm doing a, a good job, I think. Considering I'm missing equipment. I looked up beginners, not because I underestimate my ability, but because equipment wise, I wanted it to be minimal as possible. Like obviously I ordered the cake stand in and other bits and pieces for it, but like machinery and stuff can be super expensive. My mum's got bits and pieces. I wanted it to be kind of low equipment and low cost for you guys. It's fucking not. I think we've done a good job. Oh. My dog couldn't get closer. He's just ready. He doesn't know what's next, but he's ready for it. Is it butter milk? Or whole milk. Uh, so yeah. that's, that's you can make your own, but I just thought, listen, let's not take the piss. We're already running before we can walk. Slowly add in the flour mixture that we did earlier. And we want to slowly add in the whole milk or the butter milk if you do have it. And we want to start and end with the flour. So I'm going to transfer this into a bigger bowl. Get it all for him. I can't tell you guys the mess I've made. And you'd after each addition, you fully incorporate it. This is a guess, but you're not going to want this, Marshall. Add a cup. Uh, this should be room temperature. I'll give you a hint. It's looking luscious. So it is mixing really nicely. We're not done. And then we also have our, you know, waiting for the food. <laughs> it's just- Marshall's camera show. It's ca it, no. You will add in vanilla. So I just have my vanilla extract. I got most of this stuff from Tesco. I got a few bits from my local co-op too, which was pleasantly surprising because normally they have nothing. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Gonna, oh, love that for me. You only have to cook these for 30 to 35 minutes. The temperature was in Fahrenheit. Um, so I'm gonna do it on 160 because I've got a fan oven and my oven is pretty powerful. You're meant to have an eight inch baking thing, but mine is huge. 
That's not eight. So I'm thinking I might up the baking time because it's gonna be like that thin. I'm kind of just thinking of. Just one layer. One layer and cutting it in half. I don't know how long to cook it for. Right, we're improvising. The reason being is I wanted to do a stack cake, but I haven't got a small baking tin. So the mixture, I know it's gonna rise, but it will still be such a thin layer. So what I'm gonna do is cook it all. We've had to kind of guesswork the temperature of the oven. And now I'm guessworking the time to account for this. So basically I'm just gonna cook it for 35, see how we go, and just sort of make a informed decision on it. If it comes out quite big, I'll just chop it in half. We're, we're improving. this is what's happening. Or I might make another layer. I'm gonna see how I feel because I really wanna make a stack cake. This is the recipe for it, but I just don't have that size baking tin and it was it would just be lame if I did it half and half. So I put all the mixture in. I'm now gonna put it in the oven, jumping right into it. So let's see how we go. I'm gonna pop this in the oven. I'm back. So we are now, I'm making a very serious baking video and you are interrupting it. And now I'm gonna make the vanilla buttercream. It's going as well as you guys can imagine. So first of all, we're gonna put the egg whites and the sugar and we're gonna whisk them, but we're gonna have to do it by hand. Love that for us. We're gonna do six large egg whites. You can buy egg whites or I just do it myself. I'm just really talented. We're now gonna put in the sugar. So it's one and a half cups of sugar. These are my favorites. What an invention. We wanna whisk them until they are combined. Just a little bit about me if you are new to the channel and you're here for the baking. I'm not a baker. I am actually, you wouldn't believe this. I'm actually a qualified cook. I did a two year cooking course whilst I was at school. And I'm a pretty good cook, but we didn't do too much baking, but I haven't done it for years. <laughs> and I did a vlog over Christmas and I made some brownies just to kind of be fun and festive and people enjoyed it so much. And so I'm gonna make a regular series on my channel called Baking with the Glamour, where we will be doing baking, which will either be funny or yummy. So we'll see which one it comes out as. Baking is relatively new for me. Um, but cooking, I'm your girl. Although the brownies were good, weren't they, that I made? Yeah, they were good. <laughs> they weren't I? So now this is where it gets a little bit more complex. I want to put the bowl over a pot of simmering water and mix it. And then the mixture should be hot and not grainy. Simmering water, whisk it, hot, grainy. Whilst my kettle is boiling, I am just gonna get the measurements ready because essentially what you're gonna do is mix this until it's hot and not grainy. And then you're gonna mix it and it's gonna be stiff and then you're gonna gradually add in cubes of butter and then finally your vanilla and then it will become like a smooth buttercream. So I'm just gonna have this all ready. I need two cups of unsalted butter and then we put a cube it just before I get into this because I think it's, is it time sensitive? It feels like it, I just pressure. I have no idea what it's supposed to look like. It's meant to be hot to the touch and no longer grain. I'm the star of the show. People are watching it for me, not the cake. Be here for a little while. Who knew baking was like such hard work? It's like having a job working 24 seven. I hope it works because the mix looked really good. Like I think I did a good job with the mix. planning on releasing my cookbook probably at the back end of the year or maybe early next year it depends on covid you can actually pre-order that i'll put the link in the bio what's it say it's meant to be hot to touch or you have a can with some other elements oh yeah so cool. if it's warm it's not hot to touch it? also i can see the granules on the side <laughs> you're a backseat gamer backseat gamer what's that even mean it's the same as a backseat driver when you're playing a game. They're like, no, go to the left. No, you need to speak to this person. No, you need to do this. And you're just there like, <clears throat> do you not see the casual gaming tag? Do you not see the no backseat gaming tag? I'm just trying to have a good time and make content. Take it off now. 
and you want to whisk it on medium to high till it's stiff and cool and then you want to wait for it to cool down. I'm confused because I followed the instructions and they were seeming to suggest to me to put cardboard in the oven and instinctively it felt wrong. You know, it didn't feel right. Because I just thought, you know, if I want to burn the house down, cool, but this is not what we're going for today. What do you want to eat, babes? Uh, what You're going to order me Maccas. Is that what you're doing? Just a bad thing. Shame. Go! Ah! Oh my I've got my cream in my fucking hair. Let's go. Oh, let's have a little fucking Oh my god. Make me play. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. It's really good. I can't do it. I have a baker. Wait, I need a toothpick. I don't have a fucking toothpick. Brand new meant to dig it in and it should come out mostly clean. That's completely clean. I mean. Fuck it, we're doing it. We've done it. The middle will be the part that's. The least cooked. Mother, I can't talk right now. I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen baking. Oh my god! I'll put the foot down on the gas. I like, quick. Nah, so I need to be the hob. You're allowed to be at the hob, Mum. I wouldn't come between you and the hob. So, the situation that we're in. This has not gone hard like a meringue. So I'm just winging it. Don't touch my cake. Mum, doesn't my cake look good? Yeah. But just in case we do have our bake cocker, it's almost like I knew I would fuck it up. It said to move to a paddle, so I swapped from a whisk to something else. Part of being a chef, Dan, is adapting. It's it's rescuing things. It's bringing it back. Have you ever seen Gordon Ramsay when he goes into his restaurants that are like half a star? That's me. And when I leave, it's still half a star. So your outfit of the day, you know? Huh? Like your outfit of the day, what you're wearing. So just tell them where it's from. Very good. It's meant to be Barker. Well, it says to sort of paddle. Do you want to use the whisk? It's just from Barney's. Gave me a light not Shirts me. from Urban Outfitters. Zara jeans. Can you have all the shoes? Ted Baker. You've got massive lumps of butter in there. Because it didn't stiffen so it's not mixing very well. Oh, Marshall checking out the cooking. Look at Marshall checking out the cooking. You couldn't get closer. I think you need that to be softer. Well, I've only made a microwave. I could just add some flour to make it thicker. No, it's got lumps of butter in it. It should have been softened. Do you not have it at room temperature? Yeah. Clearly not. What is this? Buttercream? For the inside. That's not gone inside of a cake. That, I thought this was like some sort of, like a drizzle for the top. A drizzle? You better get some flour in there. I said flour. I thought it was for the top, like the way it drizzles over. Have you tasted it? Huh? It's a vanilla root. That's the alright, huh? No. So, what is that Your voice went high. Just put a bit more. No, I think it's okay. It just right. tastes, it tastes like uncooked cake mixture. The bar cream didn't work. It didn't really stiffen up like a meringue. I think that's where we went wrong. 
So to thicken it, I had to add some flour, but to me now, it just tastes like cake mix. Good thing your girl bought six tubs. Mad rush. This is all going to plan. Let's just say, come on. I haven't tried any. Oh, that is good. We are now going to decorate the cake. I do wish the homemade buttercream worked, but what can you do? Winging it, like we're just, we're just going for it. Um, I just had some food. So now all that is left today is to just ice this and then um, I will be streaming later. Yeah, I definitely want to try it again. And my mum said she wants to get one of the machines that whisk it for you. So hopefully that might help things out. So I was just doing the washing up earlier whilst the cake chilled and I had like obviously the buttercream that I made and mum's like oh what are you going to do with that and Danny went throw it on the skip. Mother, I'm in the kitchen. Let's go. Should we put a D on it or is that turkey? Do what you want, Bob. It's your cake. D for dick. I feel like the D is missing some. It's going be a 1D birthday cake. Why have you got the line for it? My album. I'm a big One Direction fan. Oh, you guys are so horrible. <laughs> no, I just wondered because if you don't. No, don't. No, 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 you're spoiling, leave it. No. You just want to use the tools for more. This is D for Dick. Mom, chop my cake. Yeah. So as expected, it's got tits up. To be fair, um, the cake tastes delicious. And the buttercream that we I ordered, because I knew Betty Crocker come through, uh, the buttercream that I ordered is um, really, really good. So the cake actually tastes delicious. It just didn't come out the way I wanted, I guess, obviously. Well, making buttercream is quite ambitious, in my opinion. I think that's quite an intense thing. I think I need the machine because it didn't stiffen up for the meringue. But anyway, it tastes really good. So we trimmed off the edges and Dan, Dan actually said, oh God, that's delicious. 
But obviously, when we were having our moment with the buttercream, I, what I could think was Danny loves carrot cake. And I didn't know how today's cooking was going to go. And obviously, as funny as it all was, we did get a really lovely cake. But just in case, I did order him this from Lola's. It was basically my insurance policy, just in case. I do wish mine was completely homemade, so that's definitely my goal for next time. But if you guys have any suggestions for me to try, because I love doing the baking videos, they're so funny, and they always get the most reaction from you guys, so you definitely seem to enjoy them. So if you have any recommendations for stuff you want me to bake or try out or anything like that, definitely comment down below, because they're so funny to do. Now we have two lovely cakes to enjoy, but he doesn't know, so I've got to be really sneaky. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat and um got some presents to wrap and things like that but i will see you guys all in the next video don't forget to subscribe turn the notifications on and um look out for my cookbook next year